Now let's get back to more Pro Football Hall of Famers. Orlando Pace was one of the greatest offensive linemen of his era. He played 13 seasons in the NFL, 12 of them with the St. Louis Rams. But he really started to become famous at Ohio State. While they didn't invent the term, the Buckeyes definitely popularized the phrase pancake block when Pace was on campus. Pace was so dominant as a college player, he finished fourth in the 1996 Heisman voting. That's the highest finish ever for a pure offensive lineman. Pace credits his college coach, John Cooper, for developing him into the dominant player he became. He took a kid from Sandusky, Ohio, believed that I could start day one uh, for the Buckeyes. Uh, and that took a lot of confidence on his part to, to, to say that, hey, he's ready to play. And uh, I, always, I always respect him for when I, wanted to, when I wanted to leave early. He said, you've done everything you can in college football. Go ahead and leave. God is blessing, yeah, so. Leaving school early was a pretty easy choice for Pace as the Rams took him first overall in the 1997 draft. Pace would eventually become a key figure in an explosive Rams offense that went to two Super Bowls, winning one. While Kurt Warner, Marshall Falk, and Isaac Bruce were the guys putting up all the big numbers, Orlando was just fine being the lineman who helped those guys score touchdowns. I've always took what those guys did on, on the field as my reward. If, if we scored a, a long touchdown or if I'm blocking the best defensive end on the, on the field and I shut him out, that's a win for me. And, and I know my team would have success based on what we did up front. Now that he's a member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame, Orlando hopes that he can inspire future generations. I just hope it gives kids a, a chance to dream. You don't necessarily have to be you know, from a, you know, a big program or just when they look at me, I want them to say, hey, you know, he came from Sandusky, Ohio, which is a small town and he's in Canton and he worked extremely hard and he believed in what he wanted, he believed in, in, in being a, a great, not only a great man, but just try to be a good citizen and a great football player.